on uh, Tuesday, Dallas came to play Golden State, and with that came their new shooting guard, a, a gentleman known as Clay Thompson. Uh, I, I believe we, we've heard of him before. Um, so he came back, and uh, the and in that game, the Warriors get the win by three, and once you know it, Curry hit a dagger three. And mm-hmm. uh, I remember the post-game interview, Clay was like, it's not as fun being on the other side of that, you know? Um <laughs> Uh yeah, so so I've uh they they gave away the Captain Clay uh you know sea captain hats uh, to all the fans. So the image in our background was actually the uh you know the uh, him looking yeah. out like or whatever at, at all the fans, and it's just kind of special, I guess. It's special. It's weird. Um, it, it, it's odd. I don't know. Just whatever adjective for something feels off. Like seeing Clay in a Dallas uniform, seeing the 31 instead of the yeah. 11. You know, it's just what was uh, yeah. interesting in this game. It seemed like the buildup was, and this could all be lies. You know, it's hard to know who really knows what's going on. But um, like there was kind of talk that Clay was really upset that he had to leave the Warriors, that, you know, that Lake of and the Warriors didn't keep him. And, you know, the Warriors say they had a a contract offer that would have been more than what Dallas offered, but whatever. It's unimportant. He's right. It seemed like there was it it seemed like there was some negative energy. And I saw some stuff in the papers, you know. Sports talk uh, that play was set and. You could just tell how special it was to come back and and the workers, um, all the employees of the Warriors staff and the arena staff out there. And then I, I heard after the game, he stayed after the game and had a, a proper goodbye. Hello, you know, with uh, the people that work at the arena. Mm-hmm. Uh, so apparently when, you know, when he was no longer a golden state warrior, he didn't really have a, a proper goodbye with all these people, but apparently he, you know, he, he did, he went in and did his wor- normal workout at chase arena after the game it, like he never left, you know, so mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people were saying just like how how special it was, they think, for all everybody that's at the arena, but also for Clay himself. Um, so yeah. it was it was interesting. I don't think a, a, a former player in his first game back the following season got a, a return celebration from the franchise, the fans. So soon after free agency, remember when Giambi left for the Yankees? We we made sure to boo his ass and bring oh, yeah. money and throw it at him. <laughs> we crushed Giambi. Well, uh, that like the first four years he yeah. came every time he came back, man. Like like him leaving broke our hearts. Uh, this yeah. one, it uh, maybe we're all a little bit older, a little bit less, you know, upset about things like that about players getting their bag, you know? Um, but also this one just didn't have the same vitriol, you know, like, 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 Not like at, at least from the fan perspective, you know, we, uh, we, we all love clay Alexander Thompson, you know? And <laughs> I mean, I still got a Jersey, uh, hanging in my closet right now. And, and I, I look forward to, you know, wearing that again one day when, when he's retired and, uh, yeah, it's 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 it, it was sad to see him leave. Uh, I'm glad he was able to get his bag. Uh, it looks like he's playing a little bit better this year than he was last year. You know, I mean, I, I haven't been extensively following the uh, Dallas Mavericks. It's just, it, you know, I they're not my team. I'm, I, I only pay attention to what's in front of me uh, as far as that goes. But and they are not. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they're they're. Um, yeah, where where are they sitting right now? Western Conference. Um, yeah, they're, they're like a five hundred team. Maybe maybe a game. Yeah, or they're, two they're, yeah, they're five hundred. They're seven seven yeah. and seven. So, uh, they they won their last two games after the Warriors uh, gave them that L. They uh, they did win their next two. So, uh, that, and that was to get them back to five hundred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and they're sitting tenth in the West right now. So obviously, it's a little too soon to talk playoffs or whatever. But that's your play in tournament line is ten. So, so I think that that they're going to be in a dog fight. The Warriors, on the other hand, uh, 
they they got uh, uh they beat Memphis on Friday. Both of these are NBA Cup games as well. Uh, to to make note, Curry didn't even play in the fourth quarter. They still get the win by five. So the Warriors are ten and two on the season. Uh, so so they're a number one seed in the West right now. Got the Clippers tonight. Uh, we, let's see. Yeah. Coming up schedule. It is the Clippers. They're playing. Uh, they're in 11th right now. Uh, let's see Atlanta on Wednesday. And Atlanta is seventh in the East, although they're six wins, eight losses. A little early to talk about 500, you know, above and below 500. There's still time to make that up. They're at New Orleans on Friday. And then Saturday, they're at San Antonio. And both and that of those San Antonio teams- game could be the could be the one because it's a back to back. It's a road. That could be the yeah. one that that bites you in the rear end when they got yeah. a, a superstar young player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they're just like they're, they're six and eight right now. Um, the Mavericks and the Clippers are both seven and seven sitting just a game ahead of them in the standings. Uh, the Pelicans are four and ten. They're, they're dog shit. You might. Honestly, if if they overlook the Pelicans, you know, yeah, to they try could, to focus yeah. like like either one of those on a back to backs. I don't love back to backs. Uh, Clay apparently shot one one for eleven last night. So, um, so the uh, uh, the Clay Thompson that we saw at the end of his Warriors career does show up still time to time. Apparently, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, I do want him to play well, but not again. Yeah. Uh, so so just just the the week upcoming. Uh, I expect either three and one or four and oh, um, that's, that's, that's what I want now at this point. You're, you're, you're in the pole position. Let's, uh, let, let, let's, let's really put some pressure on and make sure that everybody knows that the, uh, the window isn't closed yet on Steph Curry, you know, uh, we thought it might be, but it was just closing on clay Thompson apparently. So, yeah, I mean, the, I, I just love the energy that the Warriors are giving right now. I love how deep the team is. Uh, I know, uh, um, shoot, what's his name? Just got injured. Um, uh, D'Anthony Melton. Anthony Melton. Yeah, sprained ACL. Yeah. Um, but I just love the depth of this team. And I love it. To, it. I think we're finally seeing a good mix of veteran players and young players. This is the best I've seen Jonathan Kaminga play. Um, he's actually like taking over that second unit and he's dominating mm-hmm. consistently. Yeah. Um, if he's not able to shoot the ball, he can get to the cup. If he's not able to get to the cup or he's not having his best offensive game, he's playing really good defense. Um, you know, Kavon Looney has found the fountain of youth once again and yeah. is like fourth in offensive rebounding in half the games. Uh, half the It's ridiculous how many uh, rebounds Kavon Looney is getting. Um, Trace Jackson Davis. I, I mean, the energy that he's bringing, um, you know, it's just, a, it's just a lot of fun to watch. It's like uh strength in numbers 2.0. Um, obviously the, the, the team is going to get a little shorter on the bench as the season goes on and, and things like that, but it's great to get your run now early, build that, be a part of the season that built that, that lead in the standings. Um, yeah. cause you know, you're going to, those back end guys, if, if everything holds true and we many minutes minutes, so, but you want to make sure that they were major contributors in the, in the, on the whole season. Um, so I'm just loving every, every second of the, of the season, man, they just look like a really good team and they're just really fun to watch again. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, uh, it's, it, 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 it's reinvigorated. I think the fan base is feeling great about it too. Like, you know, it's just uh it, it, it's fun times in Golden yeah. State right now. You know, fun times in the city by the bay. So.